Hey guys, I know this isn't going to be a very common problem. I'm getting some scratches and buff marks right here on this side panel, and it's just from the combination of boots and pants I wear as I move my foot to break. Over time, I get these scuffs and scratches actually through the color into the plastic. Now, this is the second set of panels that's happened to. The first time, I just thought it was a fluke. But now that the second set is wearing, and I can see a pattern, and I actually looked as I'm riding, and I can see when it's happening. I know it's just a combination of my riding position and equipment, so I need to protect this panel. What I'm going to do is simply install some of this 3M paint protection or body panel protection film. There's nothing magical about this, although I've never done this to a part on a bike. I have done vinyl graphics on cars, did it to my Mini Cooper and my wife's Turbo Beetle back in the day, putting on racing stripes. And this should be absolutely identical. This is just clear instead of colored graphics. So there's nothing magical about this. I got it literally for a few dollars off of eBay. It's just a strip of the film that somebody cut off a larger sheet and they sell in small quantities. The only thing you have to do is buy a large enough piece to cover whatever you're doing on the bike. Obviously, if you're gonna do the whole bike, if you, you need to get a sheet that's bigger than the largest panel you're gonna cover. And that usually means the fuel tank if you're gonna do it in one wrap. These are the only two tools we need for this. The kit I bought of e off eBay actually came with a little tiny squeegee here, and it's gonna work fine, especially for this small of a panel. I wouldn't wanna do anything large with something this small though. You can always get one at any auto store or Walmart for just a buck or so. The only important thing is make sure it's fairly rigid, but just a little bit flexible, and make sure there are no sharp edges. This one had a little bit of a burr, a little nick. And you don't want anything like that because we're going to be running this over the plastic and you don't want anything to scratch. This is the other important part of the equation. This is our lubricant and this is going to go under the film and on top of the film during the whole process. This helps lubricate it on the part that we're protecting so we can put it into position without it fully sticking and helps the squeegee slide over the top to get out all the air bubbles and get it actually attached to the part. For little stuff, I've never had a problem just using distilled water. If you have a very clean or filtered water, that's fine too. And a little bit of dishwasher detergent. A few drops for this bottle, just a little squirt, that's all you need. Just regular Dawn. Uh, if you're doing a large panel, you can put in a good dose of isopropyl alcohol that'll help move the water along. But I've never had a problem using just the soap and water for any small parts. The important thing is you want to avoid any kind of water like well water with minerals that would leave any water spots underneath the film. So the first thing we have to do is actually mount the part because it needs to be held in place as we put all the pressure on it to squeegee out all the water. It would be almost impossible to do this unless somebody was holding it down off the bike. Next we have to figure out exactly where we're going to be applying it. What you do is unroll your piece to whatever part you want to protect and cut out the appropriate matching part. Now I'm getting all these scratches down in this area so what I'm going to do is apply the film just straight along this bit of a body line here. That way number one I won't see it. This is really the only part that you notice with your eyes unless you're down here on the bike. I'm really not a fan of seeing it. Yes, I do notice it. It does add a tiny bit of orange peel to the surface. It's not 100% transparent. You do notice the edges, or at least I do, especially on parts that you're looking at, like if you were having it on the tank. But, you know, it's worth it for certain types of protection, for sure. So you just tape this into place, and you can mark it with a pencil or whatever you have to do, and then cut out the exact shape you want with scissors. Trimming is really the hardest part of this whole process because you do want to be precise. I've got it taped down here along the top of the line I want, and then I'm just doing a rough cut to get the basic shape. And then once I get that with the big part trimmed off, I'll go and actually take it off the part and make sure those lines are perfectly straight. And I'm cutting them to just wrap around the bottom edge of this panel so you won't even see it at the bottom at all once it's applied. This film does stretch about 20% in all directions so it goes around curves and contours, no problem. And now with the part nice and trimmed, straight edges, right shape, we're good to go and we can actually apply it to the part. 
Now it's very important that the part is 100% clean. This is brand new, never been waxed. If it's an existing part, you need to completely strip it of wax. I just use regular Dawn dish detergent. Use whatever you like for getting it 100% clean. I just need to wipe this off to get any dust out of it because dirt or dust trapped underneath that will show, believe me, especially if it's white dust like this. So now we wet down the surface thoroughly with our soapy water solution. Peel off the backing of the part. The more adhesive side is going to go down towards the part. We just want to get it generally in place. Don't worry, this is not permanently affixing anything at this point. Just want to get it to make sure we've got the right coverage. And that looks really good. Okay. Give the top a spritz down. Peel it back on one half, spritz it down again on the underside. This is going to allow us to get it precisely where we want and it'll be able to slide around, but still stay in place. Do the other side. We're going to tack down the middle first and work out from there. Spritz the outside. Use your squeegee on the least aggressive side. You don't want to use this sharp edge. We're going to be wiping like this. It's got a taper on it. You want to use firm but gentle pressure. We're not looking to actually force out the water. Just a little bit will do you. And do wide, even strokes. All right, so that's all we have to do. It's nice and tacked in the center. That's going to stay put. So now we just work out from there. From the center of the piece through to the edges, just working out the bubbles. If you get one really stubborn or you see some dirt, all you have to do is peel it back up from the side, spritz it again, and start over. It is not permanently gluing. Even after this whole process is done, you can still peel it up from the bike itself. When you get to edges, just kind of let it flick over the edges and it'll get those bubbles out. And when you get to a corner like this, just stretch the film to let it contour and it'll adhere. Once the water and soap is driven out, it will stay in place as you go along. So you just continue this all the way through the edges. So I hope this helps somebody. Give it a shot. If you want to do your whole bike, feel free. Certainly doesn't hurt anything, although if the bike isn't new, there's not a whole lot of point to doing it. I still wouldn't have done this to a new bike, obviously, because I don't care to see it, but like I said down here in this part, I don't see it, and I want the protection. So this is a good fit for this particular panel. That's it, guys. If you like this give video, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. Subscribe to see more, and we'll see you next time.